What is up guys? Welcome back to episode 23 of the Balkan season. We're right here back in the school gym. I got Patrick Fang behind me and we're gonna hit 225 for some pause sets of five. Pause sets because, you know, we are training competition specific. What I'm doing, what I've changed up with my bench, mainly to just the grip, is now I'm focusing on trying to crunch my pinky fingers in as much as I can. It'll give me way better leverages at the bottom of the bench and a much better stretch reflex. So, let's get this. feeling way better and we are gonna beat Patrick to the road to 315. All right, what's up guys? So this is Big Teddy Bear, Fat Pat, Patrick Fang. Okay, he thinks enough. he's big, but that's he has enough. no muscles. Patty's gonna be warming up right now. He got 185 on the bar. Patty, what are we going up to today? 205. 205, very nice. Patrick and I have this like untimely rivalry on the bench. And he thinks one day he will hit a 315 bench before me. We are racing till 315. Every single day is the constant grind to see who hits it. But Patrick has one advantage. His obesity grants him way better leverages than I do. So technically, I'm winning. Now let's go. So the thing about Patrick's bench is Patrick has this genetic obesity that grants him the power to be just strong at every single lift. Like this kid's only been lifting for about a year, but he's putting up over 400 on the deadlift, 350 on the squat, and over 270 on the bench. But he has no concept of what form is, so he will seriously fail every single rep. Wait, what was the PR? 205, 205 for 10? Let's go. It's not bad. All right, so Patrick and I just brought up a quick little point here. When you are benching on the, like, uh, the descent of the bench, you want to think of the bench as a row to your chest rather than letting the bar drop to your chest. Patty was doing touch and go bench, so can't really argue with that. But another thing that we talked about is when you are benching, if you're getting really, really specifics into it, as you guys go down, you guys know you crank in your elbows to get as much elasticity and leverage as you can when you go up. But when you press the bench back up, you want to let yourself have the room to flare your elbows on and just give yourself that extra power. I will show you guys in these sets, we're gonna put minimal leg drive into it and really just focus on the chesticle activation. combination of just like allowing yourself to unfold in the bench, touching a little bit higher and gripping as much as you can with your pinkies makes you so strong. And as you guys can see, Patty's implementing that uh, form of pushing your elbows out just a little bit when you're approaching the top range of motion of the bench is going to allow you to get a little bit more triceps in and open like an optimal benching pattern for like the top range of motion. Let's go. Guys, I think I found the secret to bench. You got to get really fat. The fatter you are, the better the leverages, the better the leverages, the bigger the stomach, the bigger the stomach, the less you have to Pull the bar down, the less you have to pull the bar down, the less you have to push the bar up, the less you have to push the bar up. The heavier you can let me. Ooh. 
Alright, what is up guys? So I'm with Harry, Luca, and Ryan right here. Oh. They're about to record this set. Huge shout out to these guys. I will link their Instagrams in the description. Yeah, you guys already know it. We are on the fourth set, back in those Reebok lost and found shoes. Let's go. <laughs> Up. 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 Come on, push it. It's a four or five. It's hard. It's hard. There we go. Oh, yes. Yeah, huge shout out to these guys. They're in our high performance training class. As I said, in the descriptions. One more set to go. <laughs> Alright guys, Marty's last set. We're doing 8 to 10 reps. 205 pounds. <clears throat> this man had an injury for the past couple months. He's building the strength all the way back. Let's go. <clears throat> up, up, up. Easy, come on, grind it, grind it. Big breath, big breath, big breath. Not touching. <clears throat> Up. Up. One more. Oh! Oh, go. Come on. Hey. hey. That was a That was a grinder. That was a yeah, Everyone's different, but I've just been training for someone watching so many videos on different plans. I've just like performed their workouts for me. What's funny is this one kid from a, uh, right? He like made fun of me for doing my own workout plans. He's like, he's like, you're never gonna get anyone with lifting, bro. He's like, you're just exactly. good at it now because you're kind of big. But he's like, he's like, if you, he's like, if you actually like make a plan, you'll be so much stronger. He's like, you're not gonna do that well. And I'm like, it's not good. <laughs> I did pretty well. I'm kidding. Let's go. Come on. Up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. So, I'll angle you. So, lunch ended. We had to go hit a bio test, but right now we are back. Patty's back on the bench. We are finishing out with a nice, gigantic arm workout. I'm going to be burning out with some biceps and triceps, blasting it. As you guys know, full workout down in the description. And Patty literally can't get a single rep on this because he's so obese. Alright guys, last set of these biceps. We're doing 7 sets of 12. Me and Patty went back and forth on triceps. It is absolutely the most brutal thing. The key for the biceps, guys, is you don't want to go till you very much lock out, but you want to go just before that. Keep that constant tension on the peak. Absolutely the most painful thing in the world. I don't even know what seven rep we're on right now, but we're going to do five more five. Another key is to try and keep your elbows as close together as you can. Just to improve ah, the concentration on the peak of the bicep. And right away, we're going to slide into the bench. Strap up for some feet up, close grip. No pause, just getting the full pump and contraction in my small, little, trisexual muscles. Close grip, guys. Makes your triceps huge. Makes your lockout good. Oh. Right. Oh, brutal. Hi, guys. In the gym, Patty's still here. Sam's right now behind the camera, guys. And uh, we're on the second last exercise of the day. Today's chest and arms. And shout out to John. Shout out to Mr. Hey Duke for it's the most painful thing I've ever done. It's 100 reps of these. Try some pull downs with these bands. And every time you have to take a solid break, you have to go do negative contractions 
over on the overhead rope extensions. And I'll show you guys what that looks like because I'm about to fail right now. So I'm at 69. <laughs> All right, I can't even laugh right now. See, this is the most like painful walk of shame because there's just pain right after, and we're doing overhead cables. And then a four to five second negative. Let's explode up. If you guys ever want to die during a workout, come work out with us. Go see John. Ask him to just feel a wrath of pain. We still have 30 point reps to go. All right, guys, I'll see you when we're finished. Let's go, Patty. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. All right, what's up, guys? So me and Fat Patrick over there just finished this insane poor day. Triceps are absolutely pumped. Patrick's walking around because he's super cabbage tribe, but I will put all his information, YouTube, Instagram, in the description. This was an insane workout. Oh, Mr. Ben Good is here. It's in time to go facility. awesome. Small boys. What do you want from me, huh? I want your goddamn crazy. Oh. Oh. Thank you. What is up guys, so today is currently Saturday, March 9th. It is about three days since I recorded that last video that you guys just watched, the push day with Patty. And for the past four to five days, I've been recording videos every single day, which is super, super dope content wise, but not so good in terms of my editing, my workflow. I've been backed up just a little. It's all good, because I love making these videos. So yeah, first things first, I just wanted to say that, that 225 pound five by five, pause bench was an enormous PR for me guys. Literally the week before, I couldn't even do the same numbers with uh, 215 pounds, let alone three months ago, my uh, pause five by five was around 165 pounds. So it is just crazy to me that in the past few months, my pause five by five has grown by 60 pounds. And I really, really hope you guys can take some of the tips, some of the advice that I've been giving you throughout this video and use it, apply it to your own bench and together we can grow our crappy poverty benches and it's gonna be a sick journey on the bench press. Yeah, next, um, I was gonna record an outro for this video a lot earlier, but some footage got deleted, a camera battery ran out, all these excuses. So I'm here right now to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. It truly means a lot. We got a lot, a lot of content about to come out in the next couple of days. I'm gonna try and upload at least once every two days. And yeah, just wanted to say once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys as usual in the next video. Peace.